on, uh, I'll bring us online. Well, first, I have to check my hair. There, <laughs> there we go. When you start losing it, my friend, you you, you have to protect every every single strand of hair you got. That, that's uh, I have a funny pre-show ritual as well. Uh, I know that it, in 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 um, on Zoom that uh, people don't actually get to smell you, but I I like to put on my deodorant and everything before I I come on screen. <laughs> just makes me feel nice. <laughs> I think it's a good plan just to assume assume that they might still be able to smell you. <laughs> it's it's my aura which is going through the screen and through the internet cables uh, to the rest of them. Yes. <laughs> um, oh, I love it. Yeah, I uh, I got to even if it's like um, a improvised radio where people aren't going to see me, I still got to like pre- treat it like it's a show and get ready like it's a show. <laughs> <laughs> um ba, ba, ba. all right buddy we have are we live hey, we are oh. live yay yeah dude we are live we are live um we have oh awesome we have 50 suggestions so wow. yeah i know pick a number pick a number one to 50 and we'll go um let me go with the somewhere in the later half how about 37 all right, 37. So I am going to count backwards this time. 50, 40, 40, 40, 3, 2, 1, 40, 39, 30, 37. Oh, it comes from Carlos, uh, my buddy Carlos, and it's the beauty of sandals. The beauty of beauty sandals. Of yeah. Thanks, Carlos. Thank you, Carlos. This is absolutely lovely. It's stunning, right? It, it, it reminds me of, reminds me of when my mother was getting wedded and, you know, uh, she picked out a very, a sandal which looks very similar to this and I just went right back there and, whew, Hey, you need a minute? Take, 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 take your time. Go there. Don't not go there. Don, if you have a feeling, go right for it, man. I, I can wait. Just go. Uh, I, th- I think this is perfect. This, this is the perfect sandal for me. I mean, I, I should wear it for my wedding, too. I mean, come on. This is, this is your wedding we're talking about here. Money should be no object. What I told you, whatever you want, I'm going to pick up, all right? So, Don, if you want that one, great. If you want, you know what, if you want to get that one and then maybe see if there's another one, that's fine too. Whatever you want to do. Jeff, I, I, I can't. I, I, this is too expensive. I, I, can't, I, can't, I can't accept this as a gift. I mean, I, mean I, I understand you've been with me. You're my best bud, man. And and we've we've spent so many good times together, but I, I can't I can't accept such expensive gift from you. What if it was reversed, Don? What if it was reversed? What if, what if I was getting married, which I will one day? But what if I was getting married? Would you tell me? Ah, I know I said money's no object, but uh, you should really look at a less expensive pair. No, you wouldn't say that. And you don't have to, it's not like I'm doing this so you you pay me back at some point. I'm doing it because, I mean, you're getting married and it's a beautiful day. And so the fact that though that brings out memories of your mother, I mean, that's a, that's that's worth all the money in the world. It's like she'll be there. It's like, it's like her spirit will be there. Those sandals are her. 
And if she was alive, she would want you to wear those. And this is the next best thing. I, I don't know what to say. Um, thanks, thank you. Thank Good. you, thank you so much. I mean, yeah. big day. It's a real big day. Try them on, try them on and just to make sure. I mean, now I know you were trying them on before and you were like, oh man, I wish, I wish I could have these, but they're too expensive. Just try them on. All right, give me a sec. Uh, how much are they? I don't know, it, it was right by the section where they said, you know, uh, uh, it was in the section where everything's fancy. I mean, everything's lit with the yellow colored lights and the AC oh and, and that's where the price tag stopped, right? You, you walk through the lane and that's where the price tag stops. I'm, I'm guessing these are like on request prices. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, <laughs> It's in the Haute Couture section, and if you gotta ask, you can't afford it. That's what they always say. If you gotta ask, you can't afford it. They look great. It feels awesome. It's like mom is right beside me, and yeah, I miss her. I know. She was a good lady. She was a great lady. It, you know, I I don't know what I would have done without you with for this wedding. I mean. I, everything's in place. I'm not worried about the money. I, 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 I struggle to understand why you're single. I mean, oh. you're a great guy. <laughs> Do you really want to know? Hit me, I mean. <laughs> I feel like I've been too selfish my whole life. I've been so driven. I've been so focused on my career. I've been so focused on myself that I, anytime I got into a relationship, I would always pick out the, the smallest thing and go, ah, see? So I wasn't ready. I wasn't vulnerable. I wasn't emotionally available. Uh, and also, let me be honest with you, Don, uh, years of therapy <laughs> has helped me realize mm -hmm. a lot, it's just me. And what you have that I've always admired is you have a love for yourself. And you're out there and you're open and you're willing to give your yourself to someone. I'm so yeah. scared that they're gonna, here's what it is, Don, here's what it is. I was talking to my, my therapist last week about this. I'm so scared that they'll find out the real me that that's when they're gonna walk away. So if you're, you can't live life that way, you know? It's funny, in my professional life, no fear. I'll, I'll take risks, I'll make mistakes, you know? I, it, to me, that doesn't matter. But in my personal life, I'm so afraid. You know, you know what we should do. I, I, I think you should just tag someone on a date where we go shopping, where, where you just you and I and your date. I mean, and they'll get to see the real you. I, I see the real you. <laughs> That's so. That to me is it's scarier than any deal I've negotiated. I'll be honest. <laughs> the fact they see the real. I see you see the real me. Yeah, I know. But I've known you so long. You. Well, but because I've known you so long, I feel like, well, even if there's a rough patch or something happens, it doesn't matter because that's just what happens. But when you're in a relationship, I just, I think I want it so much that I put mm. it up on a pedestal and then I hightail it out of there. I leave right away when there's a sign of trouble. So. But thank you. You know, I know we're talking about me, but it's, <laughs> this is your day. This is your day. I mean, look at those, look at it. Dude, strut around, ooh, ooh, own it. Oh, look at you, your whole demeanor's changed. All right, I, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it, all right? This, this is the aisle, I'm walking down the aisle. All right, it's me, got my tux on and oh. Yes. How's it feel? <laughs> you know, it's kind of embarrassing because I never thought I'd get married. <laughs> I mean, it, you know, it, it's not something that you, you ever thought, oh, that's a goal of mine. But then when you meet someone, it just, everything changes when you know, and you know, and you're lucky. You treat each other so well, like you have respect for each other. I look at that and I'm like, you know what my first thought is, to be completely honest? My first thought is, that's a lot of work. And that's not a reflection on you two, that's a reflection on me. You see how messed, you see how screwed up that is? 
It's a, I, I can't, I, I, I need to work on this. I got to work on this, Don. I got to work on this whole thing before I can give it to someone. You've already, you know, you're at that point. I, I don't think there's a lot to work on. I mean, you're already so self-aware. I, uh, oh, well, it, it'll work out when it has to, I suppose. Let me ask you this, and I want you to be completely 100% honest with me. I will, no, I will. no feelings will be hurt, but I want you to tell me the truth, and I want you to not even think about it. I'm going to ask, a, it's a yes or no question, the first answer that comes to your mind. You can't think about it. It's like question, and then you say yes or no. Got it? Hit me, hit me. Would you let me date your sister? Yeah, exactly. See, see your face went, and I'm not asking to date your sister. That's not, I, I would, she's, she, you know, I, that's not it. But your face, when I asked that question, that's what I'm talking about. And I, I feel like I put enough people through enough pain. Well, I mean, that, that's because you like, you just hit me with it. I, it took me a while. But you know, yes. uh, Ask me, ask me if I would let, I, I know you're getting married, but ask me if I'd let you date my, one of my sisters. Uh, would, would you let me date one of your sisters? Oh, if you weren't getting married, of course, 100%. <laughs> <See>? <laughs> and this is, this is not a reflection on you. I get it. That's what I'm saying is like right now. And, and I want to get to a point where I'm okay being with me. And then I could be okay being with someone else. Mm. Yeah, it took me a while, but I, I, I do think I'd let you let you date my sister. And, and it's maybe I, know, I, should, I, maybe I should say <laughs> let me. It sounds fun. like would you be okay if I if your sister and I dated? Maybe that's a better way to phrase it yeah, instead yeah, of yeah, let yeah. me. That's a yeah, I'm sorry. That's, that's, that's what I meant. That's what. That's I meant. why you made the face. You're like you. let you. I mean, who am I to let, I allow it? Right? I mean, yeah, yeah. Me? It, it, I mean. Uh, that definitely is a reflection on me. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, I should have reworded it in the way of, would you be okay with if, yeah, yeah. if your sister yeah, I, I'd be okay, I'd be okay. Um, I mean, uh, in the end, it's all about the beauty inside. I mean, just like in the sandals. Yes. That's what you got from your mom. She taught you that. That's why you got to get these. You got, don't even... Don't even think twice about the, the, it's not about the price. If it was, if it was worth, it's worth so much more than money. And if, if I had to do whatever I had to do, that's such a big, I mean, this is a big day for you. So. Hey, hey, Bob, I've, I've, I've got this crazy idea. Yeah. You know what? Uh, and I think this will cement our friendship. I mean, we've been doing crazy kid things since we were kids. Oh, right? yeah. yeah, every time. Your parents hated me first, first but... I mean, like the first couple of times, yeah, sure. I mean, but they then got used to, you know, us pranking around and fooling around. Yeah, maybe that's it, Don, maybe that's it. People, maybe she's got to get used to me. <laughs> Once somebody's used to me. Okay, so what's, what's your idea? Tell me. Um, I think we should run out of the store without paying for them. I mean, think about it. It will make this moment memorable. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> let's go. Right now, let's go. Let's go. Hi. Come on. Come on. Oh, let's talk. Me. Let's go. I'm coming. Oh. <laughs> dude. How oh, fucking awesome. That was so fun, man. It was so fun and so deep, too. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I just loved how we, like, went from one place to another and we were just having fun with it <laughs> well i mean isn't that the goal isn't that the that goal is. is just to have fun with this absolutely thank you jay that was, that was a lot of fun oh my man thank you it was I, i've been looking forward to playing with you for so long and the fact that like now we had a chance to do this and playing with you is like i mean it is kind of like wearing a pair of comfortable uh sandals because you just can go right into it how how did you Abhishek, how did you get into improv? Like, what brought you in? Oh, um, uh, it was, uh, in fact, playback theater. Um, I started off, uh, I, I was an engineer for about four and a half years. 
Um, and, wait, wait, uh, well, 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 once an engineer, <laughs> always an engineer. You just don't currently do it. <laughs> Um, uh, yeah, I, I, I do believe that actually. Uh, I think engineering leaves you with a, a kind of thought process which allows you to like think in a certain way. So um, yeah, once an engineer, always an engineer. Um, yeah, I started off, uh, started off uh, uh, with playback theater uh, mm. as a hobby and I really enjoyed that. And uh, Nasir from, uh, yeah. um, uh, from, came down from Mumbai and he was excited to start a group here in Bangalore. And he was like, hey, you want to improvise together? And that time I was so fascinated with uh, the entire concept of doing theater spontaneously. I was like, yeah, let's do it. And we started off in a basement. There were about five to six of us. Yes. Um, and we had one book, The Truth in Comedy. Uh, we, so we started reading that uh, and scavenging for resources on the internet. And from there, uh, one thing led to another. Uh, in a couple of years, we were in Chicago for the 2016 and the last edition of the Chicago Improv Festival. Yeah. Uh, Jonathan Pitts was kind enough to uh, invite us there to really help us out. And that was a huge inspiration. We got to see so many kinds of improv. And uh, a lot of it went over my head because uh, we were only like about a year to year and a half into improv. And uh, there were really people taking master classes there and all of that. And uh, just one thing led to another from there. Uh, we came back, started our own festival. Nasir did. Uh, yeah. So a lot of great work. Uh, so predominantly through IC uh, uh, Bangalore, Improv Comedy Bangalore. Yeah. Uh, and now after Nasir, Arjun and Bala, uh, who are leading it, are doing a fantastic job. So that's uh, my improv journey in a nutshell. Can I, can I share a secret with you? Please go ahead. Um, those those shows where things went over your head, you know, remember those shows in Chicago? Yeah. The, uh, that those those shows went over probably everybody's head. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. You you look around, you're like, what am I missing? It's like, no no no, man. There are shows where it's just like nobody, even the performers, don't understand what's happening. So it's not that like they knew. <laughs> Sometimes it's it's real out there it's just a level of confidence i think they're going to stick in this thing that doesn't mean anything because they've done more shows but it does not mean that you're missing <laughs> you're not missing anything in those shows a lot of times it's just like oh okay you're doing something i don't get it and then nobody in that theater got it yeah uh like uh, one of the biggest shifts i saw between what was happening in india at that time and uh, in chicago was uh, the the culture of improvisation like there people after after a day would say hey let's go watch an improv show uh, whereas here it's almost um, non-existent so here it's a movie or, or something like that hang out in, hanging out at a restaurant um, so in that sense i found it very different uh, i also think that's that allowed the experimentation to an extent in chicago because of the number of shows etc no, ag agree. Like that's the one. I guess the biggest difference is a, a city like you know Chicago, to some extent New York and LA, but definitely Chicago is. Oh, it's midnight on a Tuesday. There's an improv show probably somewhere, so you're able to to um, submerge yourself and see more examples of improv shows in other places. But if you look at the um, like the 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 quantity of shows it's not always a quality thing either which is it's also good because it gets lets people get up there and experiment and 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 play and do what what they want i think it's also i think i find there's more inspiration and more inspiring work from places that don't have as much improv because when you have it so concentrated everyone seems to try to be doing the same type of shows in general but then when you go somewhere where you don't have those boundaries and you aren't like i got to do this to get here i feel like that really opens up what you can do as well yeah that that reminds me of uh, something i've been reading off late especially online is where people are talking about improv and any other skill for that matter and how it's become at least in the modern world about how uh, uh, something is picked up in order to be good at it and um, at least I strongly believe I, my journey was like, I picked up improv because I, not because I wanted to be good at it, but I really enjoyed it. Uh, yes. So uh, when, I, when I play with people, when, I, when, I, um, uh, uh, when we're doing stuff here in Bangalore, that, that's what I focus on. I mean, like, as long as you're having fun with it, fuck the skill. So that'll come eventually. I mean, that is so true, man. It is so true of like people who, uh, I had a, my friend, Shad, his name was Shad Kunkel. I mean, that's the perfect comedy name. And Shad, 
moved from a small town uh, a couple hours from Chicago, moved to Chicago. His whole goal was to get Second City and do Second City. And so he tried to do everything he could to get good at it. And he kept trying and he lost a little bit of the fun. He was still fun to watch. And he's one of my favorite people on the, on the planet for sure. But he was so, every audition to get into that theater for him was like so tight and, and, and he had to do good. And it, it removed that element of play, which I think is why we're doing it. I don't, I mean, there's very few jobs and even the one for Second City, that was more writing sketch and performing sketch than improv. So there are very, very few places where it's like, oh, I make money improvising. So focus on that fun. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that, that's kind of the difference here also. Like when you compare cities like Mumbai or Bangalore, the Bangalore culture is more like, hey, um, let's have fun with improv. Whereas in Mumbai, it's a little bit, and also because of the competitiveness of the city, that's the city in which Bollywood is. Uh, sure. So people are doing improv to get into film, and, and it's very competitive. And as soon as you like, you're improvising with someone there, or you get into the city onto a stage to try something, you immediately feel the difference. And uh, I do, sorry, not you, I do. Uh, <laughs> and, <laughs> Uh, yeah, so that that's something I've observed. And that's something I loved about uh, the little uh, session you took for ICB also. So thank you for that, Jay. Uh, oh, you're welcome. Where, uh, it kind of reminded me to go back to, you know, uh, a space of play uh, and just fuck everything else. Yeah, and, and that's, you know, when you get on there, if you can, before you get on stage, say to yourself, hey, I can't wait to see what happens. Say to yourself, like, oh, what, what I'm going to do is good enough. And then once it's done, kind of leave it there. You'll be amazed that you not only will you achieve that fun, but you'll also be doing shows that that people might categorize as better because you don't care. And the goal is not to do like there is no good or, or bad or anything. There's just moves and sometimes they're supported and sometimes they're not. And that's about it. But have fun. Don't let people rain on your parade. Uh, and, and and with that, what I loved is you talked earlier about your you're starting to get into like improvised rap. Uh, yes, I am. Oh, yes. Uh, <laughs> um, that, that's something I've always been excited of. Um, uh, that started kind of when I started, um, about after I did, uh, I left my engineering job in order to focus on improv that didn't work out money wise. So I did a, li a little stint in uh, radio. So that's where the fascination with rap started. Uh, because uh, I met a lot of producers at the radio station who were working uh, in um, uh, working with rap in the underground rap scene and everything. Uh, and then I started picking up inspirations on the internet like uh, Harry Mack, Chris Turner. And uh, then the lockdown provided the perfect opportunity, the time to actually, you know, um, take this idea which was mulling on at the back of the head and uh, do something with it. We are doing an experimental show, um, ICB, in, uh, in, uh, on the 22nd, which is a Wednesday. Um, and we are doing one uh, after that. So um, I have some fun sections planned. We have been enjoying the homeworks we've been giving each other for it. And uh, improvise, we wear rap, woo! <laughs> Man, I, I am so envious. Like that's, that is such a, a brave and fearless thing to step into is like, not only are you going to improvise, but you're going to rhyme. Uh, and it's, it's, you know, improv rap or singing, like great improvisers get terrified by either singing or uh, trying to rap in, uh, using uh, improv. So kudos. Yeah. The process also has been a little uh, scary, a lot of learning uh, while, we, while we have been doing it. Um, a lot of uh, fooling around, we are, we are enjoying every step of it. We, are just, uh, we have about a bunch of eight, eight or ten people working on it right now. And uh, we, uh, we had this homework where we like, uh, created a diss track for each other uh, by using our Facebook profiles. And um, yeah, the WhatsApp group uh, on that day, I'd, I'd, uh, someone would leave a diss track and I would leave my WhatsApp for about 10, 15 to 20 minutes and I'd be back and there'd be 100 messages where everybody's going, oh, that was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. I will, I'm going to send you, uh, I have a buddy, Will, who goes by the name MC Hammersmith and I'll send you some things he do. He takes a box, he's, he's given a box and then he just like takes things, he doesn't even know what it is, and he just starts rapping. Or he, he, I, he comes out and he'll ask for words from the audience and he'll write them on a chalkboard. And then he'll rap and, and then he'll cross out the words as he raps them. It's pretty impressive. So uh, I can't wait to see that show, man. That sounds awesome. 
Um, I don't know whether it'll be that good, but fingers crossed. <laughs> <laughs> well, where can where can people see that? How can they find you online? Uh, tell um, us how to get a hold of Improv Comedy Bangalore or that stuff. Yes, uh, Improv Comedy Bangalore on the Facebook page. Uh, we are also IC Bangalore on Instagram. Um, that, that's and where Twitch. we can find the. Sorry? And you're, uh, on you Twitch, have a Twitch. Yes, yes, there's a Twitch channel also. Yeah. Um, uh, with the same name, IC Bangalore. Um, and uh, uh, there are other stuff I do outside of IC Bangalore as well with Lakshmi, a duo. Yeah. Uh, which is uh, them online. And uh, what are other stuff I do? Um, I think that's about it. <laughs> Oh, well, I cannot uh, wait to play with you again, my friend, whether it's another virtual one or it's in person, whatever it is. You're so much fun and so good. Uh, and thank you for taking time out of your schedule you. to play. Thank you, Jay. It was an honor to improvise with you. And uh, I, I wish that scene had gone longer and it could have kept going longer. I look forward to playing along with you as well. Oh, Avishek, you're the best. I'll talk to you soon. Talk to you soon. Thank you for this. Bye-bye.